Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some problems. The first problem is g of s equal k by s into s plus 10. Find k if zeta equal 0.25. So, for that purpose, so this is g of s. If you observe his, if you observe this, this is the open loop transfer function. k by s into s plus 10. This is the open loop transfer function. So, in order to write zeta, we must and should have the closed loop transfer function. From this, we can write the closed loop transfer function. That is, we can numerator and denominator form. So, that is numerator by numerator plus denominator. So, here numerator is the k and the numerator plus denominator is k by s into s plus 10. So, from this we can write the closed loop transfer function equal k by s square plus s into 10, 10s. The remaining is the k. Remaining is the k. So, this is the closed loop transfer function. The general closed loop transfer function of the second order system y t second order s has a power of 2. So, the formula is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. So, here omega n square value both are k. So, just omega n square equal to sorry omega n square equal to k from this we can write omega n equal to root k okay and look at here this 10 is nothing but 2 zeta omega n right so 10 equal to 2 zeta omega n but what is zeta value zeta value is 0 0.25 just substitute zeta 2 into 0 0.25 omega n Therefore, the 10 equal 2 into 0.25 is nothing but 0.5 omega n. Yes, 0.5 omega n. So, from this, we know that omega n value equal to root, root k. So, I will write in place of omega n is root k and this is 10 by 0.5. So, removing the point, we will have 0 here. 5, 1, 5, 20 times. So, Finally, we have the root k equal to 20. So, from this we will write k equal to root k root k equal to 20. Yeah. From this we can write k value equal to so whenever we are removing the root we have 20 square 20 square that means k value equal 20 into 20 we have the 400. Okay, so this is the solution. Here, just observe zeta is available in second order. So, given will be open loop, looking at it is open loop, then you should convert into the closed loop and compare with, and you have the particular terms, then you have we will get the answer here. The next problem. Next problem is first order system with transfer function equal 1 by s plus 1 is excited by 10 sin t and its steady state output will be is asking to find out the steady state output so the given transfer function the transfer function is given already that is transfer function value equal 1 by s plus 1 yes so what is input here here the input equal 10 sin t look at here 10 sin t yes from this we can write uh, if we give the uh, just write it here I am, I am applying 10 sin t signal 10 sin t input to the 1 by s plus 1 transfer function is the system then we will get the sum output c of t 
some output c of t so we know that the output c of t may be like this form a sin omega t plus phi yes whenever a sinusoidal input is applied to some transfer function we will get the output that is in the sinusoidal form it consisting of starting magnitude and it has the phase and now we need to find out this a value magnitude and the phase phi value what is a formula a equal so the magnitude of 1 by s plus 1 okay and what is omega here just compare with sine omega t from this we can write omega equal to 1 at omega equal to 1 so by we, we are doing this magnitude 1 has only magnitude and s plus 1 have the magnitude omega square plus 1 is at the omega of 1 then substitute the omega in this equation we will have 1 by 1 square plus 1 so therefore by doing the calculation under root 1 plus 1 we have a value is the 2 a value is the 2 and next we need to find out the phi phi is nothing but the the phase angle so here the phi for the angle for the 1 by s plus 1 at angle of same input is omega 1 so why it is input just compare with a sin omega t simply a so says compare with the sin omega t simply okay yes this is the sin omega t from this we have the omega equal to 1 so for 1 we have the angle is 0 and for this angle is tan inverse of omega by 1 and at an angle of omega equal to 1 so we have 0 minus tan inverse of omega by 1 at omega equal to 1 so here by substituting omega in this equation we have tan inverse of 1 by 1 and we have minus 5 by 4 therefore we have the angle phi value equal minus 5 by 4 so we have two things one is the angle 5 and the another one is the magnitude a so here magnitude a equal to 1 by root 2 so substitute these magnitude and the phase values in this equation we will get output c of t is this value so a is here a is here so output is we have just don't forget this 10 again we have the 10 here okay magnitude 10 and with a a is 1 by root 2 sine omega t minus 5 by 4 omega t minus 5 by 4 okay so 10 a sine omega t minus 5 by 4 so we have the output equation so this is the output equation simple whenever a time domain input is given just we have same time domain with magnitude and with a magnitude term and with a sign and with a phase angle here we have a is there magnitude is nothing but by applying the by applying the uh, by finding the magnitude then of the signal transfer function apply the omega equal to 1 then we will get this equation same we have to find out the phase apply the angle for the transfer function at given input omega equal to 1 then we will get angle values like this that is c of t equal 10 into 1 by root sin omega t minus 5 5 by 4 okay so these are the two different useful methods in this session okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you